So guys, for the first step, you want to get to this screen. Now to get to this screen, you want to turn off your computer and then turn it back on again. Repeat this three times. So once you turn off your computer from the power button and then you turn it back on again, you're going to be seeing the Windows loading screen. Once you see the Windows loading screen, you want to turn off your computer again from the power button. Repeat this three times and then it's going to say to you automatic repair, your PC did not start correctly. You want to click on advanced options and then it will take you into this screen right here. Now once you're in here, you want to click on troubleshoot and then click on advanced options. And then from here, we have a bunch of options that we can try out. So for the first method, we're going to be clicking on system restore. And if you have a restore point, you want to click on next and then you want to go back to your restore point. But if you do not have a restore point, then that's fine. We're going to click on cancel and we're going to try something else. You want to click on troubleshoot again and then click on advanced options. Now for the second method, we're going to click on startup repair. If you do not see startup repair, you want to click on see more recovery options and then it should appear for you. So now I'm going to click on startup repair. And now it's going to start diagnosing your PC. Now hopefully this will fix the problem, but let's see. If this still does not work for you, you want to click on advanced options. And then you want to click on troubleshoot. Now you want to click on advanced options again. And then you want to click on command prompt. And now you want to type in sfc space forward slash scan now. I click on enter. Then you want to run the scan. Now once the scan is being completed, you want to close this out. And then you want to click on continue. See if that fixes your problem. If your problem is still not fixed, then you want to head back into the Windows recovery environment like I showed you how to do at the start of the video by turning off your computer and turning it back on and then once you're here you want to click on troubleshoot again and then you want to click on reset this PC and you can choose to either keep your files or remove everything it's up to you and then when you go with one of these options it's going to reset your PC and then the problem should be fixed 